Have you ever wondered why the universe seems so small when you look up into the night sky? Well, it's all a matter of perspective. From our tiny spot on planet Earth, the universe appears as a dark canvas scattered with twinkling stars. But what if I told you that this seemingly small view is just a fraction of the entire cosmos? To grasp the sheer size of the universe, we need to understand the concept of light years. It's not a measure of time, but distance. A light year is the distance light travels in one year. Imagine this light, the fastest thing in the universe, traveling at nearly 6 trillion miles in a year. That's a number so large, it's hard to even comprehend. Now consider that our closest star, Proxima Centauri, is over 4 light years away. That means the light we see from it today actually left the star over 4 years ago. This is just the beginning of our cosmic journey. The Milky Way galaxy, our cosmic home, measures about 100,000 light years across. That's the distance light would travel in 100,000 years. And even within our galaxy, we're just a speck. The universe is not small, it's vast beyond our wildest imaginations. It's just that our perspective is limited. We're like ants on a giant beach, only able to see the grains of sand directly around us, while the entire beach stretches far beyond our sight. The universe is filled with galaxies, each with millions, billions, even trillions of stars, scattered across an expanse so large that numbers fail to do it justice. The distances are so vast that we measure them not in miles or kilometers, but in light years. From our vantage point, it's easy to feel like the universe is small, but that's just the beginning of the story. As we'll see, the universe is much, much larger than we can comprehend, and our place within it is incredibly tiny. The universe is not small, we are. Picture this, a universe that is constantly growing, expanding into infinity. Welcome to the concept of an expanding universe, a notion that has intrigued and puzzled scientists for centuries. This isn't just an abstract idea. It is a cornerstone of modern cosmology, the science that studies the origins and evolution of the universe. Now let's delve into the Big Bang Theory, the widely accepted explanation for how our universe began. Imagine, if you will, the whole universe compressed into a single infinitesimally small, infinitely hot, an infinitely dense point, a singularity, and then in a fraction of a second that point began to expand rapidly, creating space, time, matter, and energy. Quite a dramatic birth, wouldn't you say? But this wasn't just any expansion, it was an inflation, a kind of supercharged expansion that was faster than the speed of light. This inflationary period lasted a minuscule fraction of a second, yet it set the stage for everything that was to come. So, if the universe started from a single point and has been expanding ever since, you might wonder, how big is it now? Well, that's where things get a little tricky. You see, the observable universe, the part we can see and study, is about 93 billion light years in diameter. But beyond that, there's even more universe. The actual size of the universe is unknown, and according to some theories, it may well be infinite. However, due to the finite speed of light and the age of the universe, we can only observe a tiny fraction of it. This brings us to a paradoxical reality. While the universe is vast, perhaps even infinite, our ability to observe and understand it is not. The universe, in essence, is much larger than what we can observe. So, if the universe is always growing, why does it still seem so small? Perhaps it's not about the size of the universe, but about our place within it, our perspective. But that's a thought for another time another scene. For now, let's continue our exploration of this fascinating expanding universe. Imagine a sphere around the Earth and you are in the center. This is your observable universe. Our universe is like a grand stage and we, the spectators, are stationed at one specific point. But our position is not just any random point, it's the center of our observable universe. But what does that mean? Well, the observable universe is simply everything that we can potentially see from our vantage point here on Earth. Now you might ask, why can't we see the entire universe? That's a great question. The answer lies in the speed of light, the cosmic speed limit. Light takes time to travel, so when we look up at the night sky, we're not seeing the universe as it is now. Instead, we're seeing it as it was when the light left those stars and galaxies. Let's put this into perspective. The Andromeda Galaxy, our closest spiral galaxy, is about 2.5 million light-years away. That means when we gaze at Andromeda, we're seeing how it looked 2.5 million years ago. We're looking back in time. Now, the universe is about 13.8 billion years old. This means that the farthest we can see, the edge of our observable universe, is roughly 13.8 billion light-years away. 
But here's the kicker, the universe has been expanding for all those billions of years, so the actual size of the universe is much, much larger than what we can observe. Think of it like this. Imagine you're in a forest and it's so foggy that you can only see 100 meters around you. That 100 meters is your observable universe. But just because you can't see past the fog, that doesn't mean the forest isn't there, it's the same with our universe. So, in essence, the universe isn't small, it's our view, that is. What if I told you that there's more to the universe than meets the eye? Our understanding of the universe is often confined by the limitations of our human senses. The universe is vast, but our perception of it is shaped by our human experience, which is inherently limited. We can only see, hear, touch, taste, and smell so much. It's like trying to understand the vastness of the ocean while standing on the shore. From our point of view, the ocean seems endless, but it's just a fraction of the world's total water volume. You see, our senses are designed for survival, not for understanding the intricacies of the cosmos. We perceive the world in three dimensions, but scientists suggest there could be many more dimensions we're not even aware of. Our eyes can only see a tiny portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. The rest, radio waves, microwaves, infrared, ultraviolet, X-rays, and gamma rays, remain invisible to us. Our ears can only detect sound frequencies between 20 and 20,000 hertz, leaving a vast range of vibrations unheard. But here's the exciting part. We're not limited to our senses anymore. We have technology that allows us to see beyond these limitations. Telescopes let us see distant galaxies. Microscopes reveal the tiny building blocks of life, and particle accelerators help us understand the fundamental particles of the universe. We have devices that can detect radio waves, gamma rays, and other forms of radiation that our eyes cannot see. We've developed machines that can detect vibrations beyond our hearing range. This technology has broadened our perspective and deepened our understanding of the universe. We now know that the universe is not just what we can see or touch. It's an infinite space filled with galaxies, stars, and planets, with phenomena we can't even begin to comprehend. So even though our senses may be limited, our curiosity and ingenuity are not. The universe may be vast, but it's not unexplorable. With every new discovery, every new technology, we push the boundaries of our understanding further into the cosmic ocean. Our universe is a vast, infinite space that we are just beginning to explore. So, is the universe small or big? The answer depends on your perspective. Let's take a moment to recap what we've unraveled thus far. We've delved into the vastness of the universe, an entity so colossal that its boundaries continue to elude us. Its unending expansion, a fascinating phenomenon, only adds to its seemingly infinite character. However, our understanding and perception of the universe are significantly shaped by our position within it. We are bound by the limitations of our vantage point, nestled within the Milky Way galaxy, one of billions in the cosmic ocean. Our ability to perceive the universe is further constrained by the speed of light. The light we see from distant stars and galaxies is old light, a glimpse into the past. This is because light, although speedy, takes time to travel across the vast distances of space. Now let's talk about our perception of size. You see, our concept of big and small is inherently tied to our human experience. We compare everything to what we know, what we can see, touch, and comprehend. A building is big compared to us, a mountain is big compared to a building, and Earth is big compared to a mountain. But when you start comparing Earth to the Sun, the Sun to the Milky Way, and the Milky Way to the universe, these comparisons become laughably insignificant. Our perception of the universe's size is relative. To us, the universe might seem unimaginably vast, but if we could zoom out far beyond the reaches of our current understanding, who knows? The universe, as we know it, may just be a tiny bubble in an even larger cosmic sea. The universe may seem small from our perspective, but remember, we are just tiny specks in the grand scheme of things. We are mere passengers on a tiny blue dot, hurtling through the cosmos, a part of something much larger than ourselves. So, whether the universe is small or big, it's all a matter of perspective.